Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Farhan Tahir. I came across an interesting study and I wanted to share it with you. The study looked at rheumatoid arthritis patients in Northern Europe and compared it with the rheumatoid arthritis patients in Southern Europe. They looked at patient population in Estonia and compared it with Italy. They found out that patients who had rheumatoid arthritis in Estonia, a Northern European country, had much higher levels of melatonin, a hormone that regulates our sleep and wakeful cycle. And this level uh, was much higher in Northern Europe uh, population compared to Southern Europe population. They also found out that the peak th was much earlier in patients with uh, melatonin in Northern Europe and it stayed higher for longer period of time. We know that melatonin, if higher, creates some more inflammation type chemicals in our body that are, that are related to development of autoimmune diseases. Although we believe that restful sleep is important for everyone to avoid development of rheumatoid arthritis, but we don't know why excess melatonin is linked to development of rheumatoid arthritis. Well, there's been some more research into this interesting topic, and I wanted to share more with you. It seems that higher levels of melatonin uh, and the earlier peak and longer peak and plateau that is seen in Northern Europe is associated with some activity of rheumatoid arthritis in this population. It has been also found out that patients who have higher levels of melatonin and live in Northern Europe where there's less sunlight, they have more incidence of rheumatoid arthritis. And we are looking at a difference of 1.5 to 1.6 percent population having rheumatoid arthritis in Northern Europe compared to 0.3 percent in Italy. Now the relationship of melatonin and uh, longer darker days is also some, somewhat interesting. If you have more darker light and less sunlight, it tends to create more melatonin release and development of rheumatoid arthritis. And that also is affecting how our pro-inflammatory cytokines are produced in our body. This study that looked at high levels of melatonin also found out that patients have higher levels of TNF agents and interleukin-6, which are the markers that derive inflammation in our body. Interestingly enough, when there's a high level of melatonin, body tends to have lower levels of cortisol levels, and that also results in higher inflammation. Your body's not able to produce enough cortisol to treat this inflammation. There might be a link how high levels of melatonin affects our hypothalamic and pituitary axis to release the cortisol that we need to fight inflammation. And that's why many of rheumatoid arthritis patients tend to have high levels of morning stiffness because the release of melatonin is higher in their body and overnight these higher levels of melatonin tend to create more inflammation and they wake up with swollen and stiff joints. The cortisol level usually does not kick in and reaches a peak level until 9 a.m. And that's why most of the rheumatoid arthritis patients tend to take any anti-inflammatory medicines or prednisone in the morning to help them feel better. And another interesting study looked at the same concept that they found out that people who have more shift work tend to have higher incidence of rheumatoid arthritis. I believe that there might be some relationship of shift work triggering higher levels of melatonin because the body is always trying to catch up on the sleep. In any way, higher levels of melatonin is linked to rheumatoid arthritis, low sunlight is linked to rheumatoid arthritis, and vitamin D, which is also associated with sunlight exposure, low levels of vitamin D is also linked to development of rheumatoid arthritis. So there is some relationship going on that triggers development of rheumatoid arthritis and it's very interesting and I look forward to sharing more research studies with you about this topic. I hope you'll find this useful. Please subscribe to my channel. I wish you best of luck for your health and wellness.